that? Failure, I, I find, is an amazing teacher. So you learn from it every time you fail. I, I think it's actually a part of um, I, my own, I, I call it a deep learning framework that I've come up with for myself just to constantly get better. Um, yeah, that reflection piece is part of it. And I can't tell you the amount of times I've failed on ergometer tests or whatever it may be in weight sessions. But I always kind of hold myself accountable and learn from it. You know, you have a choice how you accept that failure. Um, OK, it feels shit. Uh, and But the worse it feels, the more opportunity is in it to, to grow from it and get better and learn from it. Um, and yeah, so it's it's just part of learning. You know, we can't. I, 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 I there, we don't have. There's no such thing as a perfect life. You're going to fail, and especially if you're stretching yourself, you're going to fail. But when you do, okay, let's learn from it. How do we? How do we use this learning? Whatever went well, specific details of it. And, and that's the idea is to get very specific about that failure. Yeah, yeah, it has to. Can be, you right? give me an example? Well, I always, if you don't know what the problem is you can't find the solution to it so um well even like the work i'm doing with you yeah you know I, I know that if i want to get under six minutes on um for a 2k test which is a big goal for me uh and it's a it's a real like world-class marker and a ergometer 2k test under six minutes you know that's a, it's olympian standard and i think i can get there but i know that i i have a lot more power in me so i you know i i've noticed myself dumping a lot of power you know, we chatted about it yeah, earlier yeah. and I'm like okay well that's the problem because you have it in you but when it, when you're really fatigued your um, uh, your technique goes out the window you dump a lot of your power and like if you can sort that out like if you can get stronger through that position if you can um, uh, delay I think was what you said earlier, delay the amount of time you're in that poor position, which is going to come in a test like that. But yeah. if you can, you know, if you can generate more power, well, then um, you have more upper chance to achieve that, um, that 6K under that 6K kind of um, time frame that you want. So, yeah, it's, and then I just got to go and put in the work. I was going to say, it's brilliant. It keeps coming back all the time, going back to your standards and getting the work done that you know you have to get done in order to do what you say you want to do. Mm. And ultimately, if you do self-reflect, you're finding something that you haven't done well or something you can improve upon in order to pivot and get the result you want to get. Yeah. There's great power in that, like being that um, self-regulator, like being the person who drives yourself, you know, and if you do it over time, um, you just get better at it as with anything. Like I just said, you know, you're practicing that and it's a very empowered state, you know, and it's a, you're with that comes great intention because like you're always looking for ways to get better and it's a really uh it's the most amazing uh positive feedback loop you know mm. to be that person so be your own driver like you know to be the person who's demanding more from yourself than you know anyone could you could imagine doing you know be that person and, and i i think so much good comes from that it's just a very empowered place that's amazing as well because, the, the, again, something we always say is just the adaptable nature of the human body. Mm. And you would put the nervous system, the brain with that. I mean, the idea is repetition will make you better at something and holding yourself to a higher standard or account will make that repetition a better quality and in turn a better result. Thanks very much for listening, guys. If you want to find out any more information, you can contact us on Instagram at Rob underscore Movement 101 or you can contact Brian at Brian underscore Movement 101. Thanks very much again. See you next time.